name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. Now I've been using this lockdown time as an opportunity to stop buying fragrance oils and actually use some of these ones that you see sitting on the shelf behind me. Now I was going through them and I found one by Brambleberry called Strawberry and Kiwi Fruit which I bought just before Christmas. Now it's been sitting on the shelf for those couple of months and in that time I've now discovered it is actually a discontinued or retired fragrance. So I have absolutely no idea what the vanillin content is, how well it behaves on soap and I can't even remember what the notes were in this fragrance apart from it smells like strawberry and kiwi. So this is going to be a very interesting soap to make. Let's go and see how I make strawberry and kiwi. Okay, so we're going to start off as usual with our oils which have come down to room temperature and our sodium hydroxide and distilled water solution. I am going to do this a little bit differently. I had the aircon on yesterday because it was quite warm and I think this cooled down a bit quicker than it usually does and I have some lilint. So I am going to strain it through here so I don't get any of those chunks through my soap. And then we're going to mix it up with the stick blender before splitting it up for some colours. All right, so I gave that a couple of pulses with the stick blender and then I have just stirred that in just to make sure that we stay at emulsion and don't start creating a trace. What I'm going to do is split this off into two colors to start with and in this jug I have some really red mica from Nurture Soap which I've mixed with a little bit of um, Desire Mica from My Micro Obsession and in this one I have a combination of Jade and Lime Spider to get a really nice bright green. What I'm going to do is pop that in my green there and I'm going to split this evenly between these two jugs. Right, so I have scraped out that first bucket completely because we're not going to be using it anymore. What I'm going to do is mix these colours in by hand before I add in the fragrance oil. And then I'm going to split it up for just a little bit more colour. <music> two colors all mixed in and I'm going to add in my fragrance now as I said at the beginning of the video I have absolutely no idea how this one is going to behave it smells really good you do get that kiwi come through you definitely get some strawberry through here as well it is lovely and sweet hopefully it's going to be a well behaving fragrance that will actually teach me that when I get fragrances in to actually note down all of the bits I need to know just in case they do get removed from off of websites so I actually know how um, I can expect it to behave. Alright so as I'm mixing this in I have noticed that the fragrance has darkened these colours up a little bit so I'm glad I haven't got any white in here because I have a feeling that this may actually discolour. Just give that a good mix and then I'm going to split it out just for a little bit more colour. Alright, so what we're going to do with both of these colours now is I'm going to split some of this red off into this jug here. And, uh, yeah, that will do like that. And I'm also going to split off a bit of this green into this one, about the same sort of amount. It's probably a little bit too much. Don't want that falling in. That's much better. Um, to these smaller jugs what I'm going to do is just add in a touch of titanium dioxide just to lighten them up and I'm just going to give all of these a very quick mix with the stick blender. Alright so now that I've got all of that mixed together I'm going to take my light green and I'm going to do a in the pot swirl in there. Let's get that scraped out because we don't want any of that left over. And I'm going to do the same with the red but pour it into my green. Okay, so we got our colours all mixed up. I've made a lovely mess here, but we're just going to keep going. I'm going to grab my mould here and I am going to start pouring from each of these jugs down each side. Let's see if we can get this going at the same time. 
and that's it. And I'm just going to run backwards and forwards down my mould, keeping those two colours as separate as I can, but then we are also going to put a chopstick through it and help it to swirl. Now the idea behind the design of this soap came from when I was first starting on my soap making journey and one of the first fragrances other than Love Spell which was my very first um, fragrance oil was a kiwi and strawberry lemonade soap and I did it very similar to this where I had the two colours on either side um, and it looked okay uh, for a beginner. Um, but I've always wanted to try it again. I will insert a picture of that soap for you so you can see what it actually looked like. Um, and I've always wanted to have another go at doing it. So I figured as soon as I had my strawberry and kiwi fragrance oil, I was going to give it another go. This has thickened up. Now we're towards the end here. I'm going to stop there for now. And we'll grab a chopstick. And I'm going to start, oh, down this end, you probably didn't see some of that. And I'm just going to pop the end of my chopstick in and I'm going to give it a swirl all the way down and make sure we do in that end as well. And that is all I'm going to do. I'm going to get these two containers um, scraped out and then we will pop our embeds on. Okay, so we've got our containers all scraped out and I've tried to keep my red and the green on each of my sides. And all I'm now going to do is do one of these little spoon tops to stick my embeds on the top with. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to have very much so guacamole sort of um, feel out of this soap. It looks like tomato sauce and, um, and avocado at this stage. It should actually brighten up as it sets up overnight so we will get more of that sort of um, strawberry and kiwi fruit feel out of it by tomorrow morning so all I'm doing here is I've got my stainless steel spoon just dipping it into the sides and pulling it up and over onto the top here right so to decorate the top we have some little kiwi pieces and I also have some little strawberries and I made these in the behind the scenes video this week and I'll leave a link up in the top hand right hand corner for you and all I'm going to do is place a strawberry on each side and a little kiwi piece on the opposite side as well <music> to go silent there for a little bit the neighbors have got some workmen in the backyard they're they're being fairly good but they just suddenly started getting a little bit noisy there and I'm not sure how much of it the camera is picking up on and just occasionally workmen can use language that isn't really appropriate um, to go on channels or to actually hear in people's backyards <laughs> So I decided we'll go quiet for a little bit. Anyway, so who likes strawberry and kiwis? Or do you have a, do you hate one and love the other? I personally do like both of them. I've got very happy memories of strawberry picking when I was a child living in the UK. I haven't done it in Australia yet, but I've been told I used to eat more strawberries than I actually picked. My parents would just put me in the middle of the strawberry patch with my basket and I'd just quite happily sit there and maybe put one strawberry in the basket probably eat two or three she mum always used to joke it was a good job that they never weighed me going in and out of the um of the farm otherwise we would have been charged for all the ones i used to sit and eat but i do also like kiwi fruits as well um i especially like the golden ones where the skins aren't um aren't furry so you can actually just eat the whole lot um, as much as I love kiwi fruits I also hate having to sit and get them out the skin as well but I do like those little golden ones where you can actually eat the skin too so let me know down in the comments below which is your favorite strawberry kiwi neither or maybe you like both of them all right so I've got all those pieces in there I am now going to bring you down for a closer look of our strawberry and kiwi all right so here it is strawberry and kiwi up close it is still got that bit of guacamole vibe there because of the color that green has gone but it will brighten up overnight and I am looking forward to seeing what this one looks like compared to my original one especially with that little change of doing the extra swirl we'll be back in just a moment 
All right, strawberry and kiwi is now ready to cut and I'm really looking forward to getting this one cut open. It has been sitting here for a couple of days firming up. Um, I, if you follow along with me on Instagram, I have finally been able to start doing the painting and it is looking really, really good. It really is brightening it up. I was a bit concerned at first because we're going from this sort of like, I don't know, really... I would call it a half strength latte colour, um, which it's a nice colour, but it does makes the house look quite dark. But we've changed it over to a white, and I was a bit concerned when we did the first wall that it was just going to be too white. But now I've got a few walls done, it is looking really good. Alright, I'm almost through this one, and let's take a look. Alright, so let's grab this one from off the end here. And that, oh wow, is the inside of strawberry and kiwi. I am absolutely loving it. I'm much better than my first attempt at doing this fragrance. Really love how I did actually manage to put those two lighter shades of each colour. And that swirl that I've got through it this time is really good. The first time I tried doing this fragrance and tried doing something very similar because I was still actually just learning. I'm pretty sure I had my batter way too thick to be able to do any nice swirls through them. But this one has just come up absolutely gorgeous. You'll need a little bit of tidying up to get all the edges looking nice. But look at the top of that with its little strawberry and kiwi. I am so happy with how this has come together. It is smelling really good. The strawberry really comes through and there's just those hints of kiwi in there as well. I can see that this will probably darken up a little bit because the green hasn't become as vibrant as it usually will. So I'm going to say there probably was some vanillin in that fragrance, but I will never ever know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made my strawberry and kiwi soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you got any questions I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can and until the next video I hope you have a great one and I'll see you then bye